to it. Well, in my opinion, one of the reasons we as Sri Lankans are in this state of horrid circumstances is purely because we as a nation forget our past. Last week I was watching the whole speakership drama unfolding in the United States Capitol. We saw after 164 years, a vote that was supposed to take only one round of voting extending to 15 crucial rounds that culminated in the current Republican Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, succeeding. The vote was not what fascinated me. What fascinated me was once he got the gavel into his hand in his inaugural speech, what he said. Listen in. You know, Abraham Lincoln gave his life in service to this country. One of his most important observations about America applies today as much as it did 160 years ago. He said, we are striving to maintain the government and institutions of our fathers and to transmit them to our children and our children's children's forever. My fellow Americans, that is still our mission today. Well, if you listen to any speech made by any high-end U.S. politician, there's one thing they mention, the Founding Fathers. And in every speech those American leaders make, they ask that very same question. Are we, as the current leaders of America, acting on the premise of what our Founding Fathers intended their nation to be? It's a noble thought, isn't it? A nation that was founded on a single principle, freedom for all, and even after 200 years, the leaders of that nation is asking whether what they are doing right now is true to the foundation of the initial thinking. Now, this is the very same question we need to ask ourselves as well. This is the very same question our leaders need to ask themselves. Are we, as Sri Lankans, doing the very same thing as our founding fathers did? I'm sure you might not even know who our founding fathers are because in living in modern Sri Lankan societies as such, we can't remember what we ate for breakfast, let alone our founding fathers, right? The Honorable Don Stephen Senanayake, or Dear Senanayake, was one such founding father of our modern Sri Lanka as he led the nation to independence. Now let him explain what the premise of this nation's values he thought should be. Matuni, Tamunasal Hitragantona, Ape Jati, Vitahasan and Lebilatin, Ape Tatwe, Bohoma, Ape Asa to a dear Adu, Ekamogame Rata, Pastor Rata, Ape Nama Manusho, Vasana Wanta, Gunawanta, Viria Wanta, the Vir, out of the Harse Gana, Ape Urmena Tila, Tibuna to Mokodu, Ape Urmea Lebilatin, Nisa. I hope it's really inspiring you. Now the story is as such, Dear Sinanayake is basically telling what John F. Kennedy said. We should do our best for our country and not seek personal benefits from our action. Tonight we as a nation need to do a soul search. Yes, we are at the bottom of the pit. And now we are finding ways and means of getting up. We have another individual who has lineage to the SNNIK himself as our current leader, President Rani Wickremesinghe. Is he doing what's right by our founding fathers and steering this nation towards prosperity that would be heavenly for all? Or are we doing more of the same? Week after week I keep asking this same question, are we doing more of the same? Because we keep forgetting it. If we need a yardstick to measure, let's measure it from the yardstick created by our founding fathers. The leaders of our current society needs to ask themselves, if our nation's founding fathers were alive today, would they be proud of the progress we've made? Or would they bury themselves alive in shame? 
as citizens, we also need to ask ourselves, will our ancestors be proud of the life we lived or we are living in this country as its citizens? Or will they too burn themselves alive in shame? We'll be right back.